Hey everybody, it's Nate here from Nate's Tennis Comeback where I help you reach the 4.5 level by focusing on mental and strategic tactics that you can use in your game. Today, we're out here with the ball machine again. Doesn't really matter what level you're at, 3-0 or all the way up to 4-5, you're gonna face pushers. What I mean by a pusher is somebody who doesn't really have the ability to hit hard ground strokes, doesn't have the ability to really hit winners, but gets everything back doesn't miss and they're super frustrating. So today I wanted to share some drills you could do with a ball machine to help get you ready for when you play them. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll share a couple tactics that I use when I play pushers outside of these drills. It's very common when you play pushers that they don't hit the ball with a lot of pace, which means you're gonna have to generate your own, which can be a challenge for a lot of players. So here's a drill to help you work on that. We've got the ball machine set up to give you a ball with not a lot of pace and having to drive that ball through the court. I've got cones set up on each side. Remember, I don't really believe in aiming for targets. I believe in hitting through zones. So you'll see I have four cones creating two zones that I'm trying to hit through. This is the typical ball boy setting, so the speed as low as it can go and the angle as high as it can go. The frequency is up to your personal preference. Another common thing that'll happen when you play pushers is they'll hit high looping shots. Sometimes these are going to land really deep, sometimes they're right in the middle of no man's land. These are actually kind of a hard shot to hit because they're not hit very hard and they're going to bounce really high, generally. So what we wanna work on in this drill is taking the ball on the rise and still being aggressive. Trying to take time away from your opponent is generally gonna be a good strategy. The next shot we're gonna hit is in the exact same setup, but instead of hitting a forehand on the rise, we're gonna sneak in, hit a volley, and come to the net. I like to finish a lot of my points at the net, so I always look to do this whenever I can. And especially when you're playing a pusher, trying to surprise them and give them different looks is gonna be very effective.
When it comes to playing a pusher, there's some strategies that you really should be using every single time. The first one has got nothing to do with your strokes. It's got everything to do with how you're mentally preparing for this match. If you know going in that this player is gonna be a pusher or once you start warming up, it's pretty obvious, you have to immediately start getting ready to make mistakes because this person's probably not gonna play the way you've played other uh, opponents and that's gonna cause you to make unforced errors. And if this person is good at being a pusher, they are gonna make way less mistakes than you do. So you have to be ready to accept the fact when you start making mistakes more than normal. You can still win this match, even though you're probably gonna make more mistakes than you normally do. So don't shoot yourself in the foot and lose this game before it's even started. The second is you really have to find ways to be aggressive. If you're gonna stand at the baseline and try and move them side to side until they make a mistake, you're gonna lose. That's exactly what they want you to do because that's playing into their strength. So anytime you have the ability to come to net, anytime you have the ability to hit an angle, you need to take advantage of that. There's probably gonna be a time where you're gonna have to be a little bit more risky to try and end these points and you're gonna have to see if you can capitalize on it. The last tactic that I try to use is serve and volley. If you have a big serve, this is obviously gonna help, but even if you don't have a heavy serve, they probably don't have a really heavy return. So you can get your serve in and come to net and try and finish this point before it even starts, and this is gonna give you a big edge and it's gonna make them start to question whether or not they can actually beat you. Hope these help, let me know what you think.